What's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Chris Ravenel. You, those of you who know me already, uh, I go by the name of uh, Thelonious. Uh, I am in the music. Um, right now, why, the reason why I'm making this video today is, is to take time to read, to read a poem that I wrote. I didn't get a chance to memorize it, but to read a poem that I wrote in honor of a, a very highly respected and, and beloved uh, staff member. Well, I don't want to say staff member. Uh, uh, a mentor at Antonelli. His name was Bobby Golding, and everyone knows who went there or who, who were alumni there. He recently passed away. Um, the reason why I wanted to make this poem is because uh, I think everybody can agree with me when, when, when I say that at some point in time you cross paths with Bob Golding while you were in, in Antonelli. And whether he was your teacher or not, he always left you with something uh, that would that spark an idea in your brain. He gave you courage, he gave you encouragement, he gave you hope. And he was never my teacher. But, you know, I, I dealt with some personal things that Bobby spoke on towards me. Um, not as a teacher, but as a man. And, uh, you know, I, I, I will take that with me for the rest of my life. And they were little things. They weren't full-on conversations, but just things that he went, he went out of his way to tell me, you know, or, or you know, just make me aware of certain things, you know, shed his light or, or, or shed his wisdom and his opinion. And I, I valued it highly. And so because of that, I want to take this time to... Um, just read, read a quick poem that I wrote in honor of Bobby G. So, um, and it doesn't have a title, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, this is for you. One word I think in your honor, Bobby, is wisdom. Everybody who crossed your path, you shared it and then some. We were young back then, a time during Photoshop and camera lenses and when light solidified our path from boys to men and girls to women. None of us want to think about the sirens on the ambulance on that day that you faded away, how, where, and why. It's not important because your memory is here to stay. Some taught to live, but you live to teach. You're an extraordinary being whose absence is out of breach. You made so many smiles. Your humanity was deeper than seas in 20,000 leagues. To us, you're only asleep. And I'm going to keep this short and brief, but out of respect for your family. But I have to admit, you helped to stir the man that's within me. It's like at times you would see the bridge I would breach between myself and someone else, but then your help I would gladly receive. And I believe that you would want us to celebrate your legacy that you carved in the cornerstones of beloved Antonelli Institute. You're an influence to the people you touched, and the students you taught, or the people you hugged. I've always had respect for you, and it's hard to imagine Antonelli without you. But I have your feeling you're doing good now, so you rest easy. Take a bow. This is your standing ovation, Bobby G. Much peace and love. Peace.